right, so this is gonna be a video on explaining basically what you need to get started tuning your Trionic 5 converted Saab. Now, this is mine, it's just been in storage for a little bit, um, because I'm a college student, but between terms, I've been kind of picking away at this car. Um, story behind it goes that basically I got it a couple years ago for only 400 bucks. And if you don't like what I've done to it, just know this is my first project car and it has a salvage title over 200,000 miles. So I basically feel like I'm in I have the right to do whatever I want to it because it's so far gone. Um, but this is a this is the old wire harness. Um, I kind of labeled it. Actually, wait, is it the? No, no, no. This isn't. This is a the harness off of the T5 car I got. I'll talk about I'll talk about this harness later. Um, it's basically my parts harness if I need anything. Um, but this video, I'm going to talk about how to interface, how to interface your car with your, with T5 suite. And I feel like there's not a lot of information out there that's as straightforward as how I'm going to be. Um, it's, I mean, no one really gives you step-by-step -step instruction and I kind of won't either, but I feel like with my instruction, um, with my instruction, you'll at least have a better idea of what to do um, when you want to connect your laptop to your car because there's nowhere out there that gives you a straightforward answer of what you eat, what parts you need to order, exactly what you need to download, um, and what to do. And I'm the what to do part, like tuning, I'm, I'm not 100% on. So what you're going to need to start with, basically, I, I'm not even at the point where I know how to tune this car. So for a background on this car, like I said earlier, it has a lot of miles. Um, I've changed the head gasket on it, but just to kind of, I did the head gasket as preventative before I do this, but this is actually an, an NA engine and I put a turbo on and all the all the intercooler stuff and everything and um because I, I don't know i mean it was a sob what's a sob without a turbo so i did all that and i haven't really touched anything in in the engine like it's i think i need to make this right i would need the turbo pistons um and and the cam and the camshafts and maybe even the exhaust valves that are sodium filled but so maybe one day I'll get there. But right now, um, right now I'm just I want to tune it low boost, just as a like a reliable car. So to start out with this, basically what I did was you don't have to print this off. It's online for free. Um, I'll link it in the in the description, and I'm even gonna make it. I, I have a fear that at one one day these are gonna be deleted off the internet. So I'm going to make a file um, that is going to be like open access, a Google Drive probably, where you can just uh, access everything you need to download if you do it the way I do it. So first thing you're going to want to do is at least download this, this guide. And this is the shorter one. And then there's a longer one that's, I think, like over 200 pages. Read both of them. It's really boring sometimes. It doesn't make sense. But once you read it and if you think about think about what it's saying and you watch other YouTube videos on tuning, it'll start, some of it will start to make sense. And then you can, once you start, you can reference some of these things. Um, and, and half of this, you, I think you don't even need to touch, especially if you have a turbo car, half of it, you don't even need to touch. Like, um, it's all, it's most of it's like only for the real tech techie kind of people. Um, so essentially first step, read the guides, download the software. Second step, and 
this is this is the step that isn't communicated very clearly so what you're going to do is this is called a lawcile or law lawcile uh can flasher or something like that you'll need to get this this is the key component i think you can get it it's about a hundred dollars on a website it might be 120 now but it comes with this blue computer chip thing um that adapts that interfaces from your laptop to the car and then and it also comes with this cable right here that will plug into usb and then what you're going to need to get is this cable right here that plugs into this this is called a db9 port and this is a db9 cable and i got one i think it was female female end it doesn't matter you're going to cut one end off so you plug it in you cut one end off and there's a diagram i i can't remember what the exact pinout is but on this you'll need a voltmeter basically to test which of these wires um match up with these pins to put spade connectors on and then from these spade connectors you'll come over here okay so you'll come over here and once you have everything installed um you'll essentially you have your ec this is my my backup because there's a risk that you can brick these ecus but you'll come over here and these are basically the two spades that will connect and there might be three actually in there well i haven't done this in a while but this is just this is just an informational guide essentially um and then you have a uh, your obd it doesn't matter but i have mine kind of taped up like this the ecu is right back here Har harness goes in all that all that jazz um and you'll connect it right there. Those, the taped wires in the spades, spade connectors, um, essentially what you'll, what you'll do is I ordered the MCS harness. Um, and that made it really easy. If you make your own, um, I'm sure you'll know more about this, but you'll have to take, you'll have to take some wires out of and put them into your pin your i guess body harness or whatever this is the ecu main harness uh connector and i could not get these pins out for the life of me um so i had to just kind of i just kind of cut the plastic out and was able to pull the wires out through the uh the harness right here but there there is a way where you can de-pin these and pull them out this way um i just was not able to do that but essentially you'll take those pins and you can easily push them in to the correct spot there's, again there's a there's diagrams online for which pins you need to use um but you'll do that and then uh and then you're basically good to go to connect your car to the laptop now once you connect the once you have that done you're not over with connecting there's some things you need to download some drivers um i honestly the term driver is weird, but it's essentially just like some kind of computer download software that will make make the system run to connect to the laptop. Um, so you'll need to download those drivers and you'll also need a Windows 7 laptop. Uh, I, I don't use a, one of these, but I would suggest getting a, I think Panasonic Toughbook on eBay, you can get them for like 150 bucks, but they're like the best shop laptop. It's the what's it's the kind of laptops that cop cars have, and a lot of workshops use them too. They have tons of ports, anything you'll ever need. It's an old style. It has Windows. Most of them have Windows 7. Um, and even if you have a newer laptop, there's a way that you can download Windows 7 um, onto the laptop and use Win Windows 7, but I just wouldn't run the risk of uh, using the new the new software laptop design on this old program. It's something might happen. I mean, I, I re I've read. I don't know if it's ever happened, but it's a risk that you can brick the ECU, and people do brick the ECUs somehow, and 
yeah, I just wouldn't run the risk. The Lawsile adapter is like the safest, the safest wit method, I think, from what I've, from what I've researched. There's the a combi adapter that you can get basically for around the same price that does a little more. Like I think you can tune T7, I think, don't quote me, but you might be able to do that. Um, but for T5, this is basically everything you need to know to get started.